everybody, it's me Margaret. I am a week behind in my videos, so let's get right to it because I have a lot to talk about. Okay, so what have I done in the way of yarn? First of all, I have been messing with hats. Here is a Monsters, Inc. cat. This is um, inspired by Mike from Monsters, Inc. And I used the instructional video from Cakes by Sabrina. And I thought he turned out great. I love, I love Mike. So I need to do a Sully hat too, so we can have a matching one. And then, on my quest for charity projects, I did Laura, the crochet zombies, lazy stripe hat is what she calls this. This is a real um, simple pattern. You get a lot of bang for your buck here with these angled stripes, I thought. I liked it a lot. So, um, I'll probably do more of these. And the reason why is because I'm having a hard time finding masculine, more masculine type hat patterns uh, to, to please the older boys. And with that in mind, I thought I was going to do a basket weave, <coughs> but I messed up. And I ended up with this, which reminds me of shingles on a roof, which is okay. It actually looks kind of neat. Um, you know, I mean, sometimes mistakes can lead to, to new inventions. So I, I kind of liked it. Now, the, another thing I want to point out is that when you use Red Heart or some of these cheaper acrylics, they're really, really stiff, like this. And I always make a habit of washing my hats anyway. See how this is just holding its shape like this? Um, I'll make a habit of washing the hats anyway because we have the cat and the dog hair. I don't want to get anything on there and I just want it to be nice and fresh by the time it gets to wherever the in intended recipient happens to be. But look at the difference. This is a washed hat and you can see it, it won't hold its shape. It's much softer and it fluffs up so nice and pretty. So um, yeah, this one needs to go in the wash. And speaking of masculine hats, this is the Better Late Than Never beanie, and I did it with black and camouflage. Um, I thought I was doing a masculine hat, but these colors are much too bright, I think. But, but you know what? I, I'm just gonna put it out there. You know, they are gonna decide who gets what hats. It's not really up to me. So I thought this was a pretty hat, and it's gonna be used anyway. And then we have this little thing, which is another one of Bob Wilson 123's uh, skinny stripe beanies. This was an older yarn that was given to me by somebody, and it's horrible. And so I'm not sure if I'm even going to send it. I mean, I love the color combination, the seafoam green and the blue, but it feels yucky. So I, I don't think I'll send this one, to be honest. Oh, I, I want to congratulate everybody on the 10,000 meter challenge. That was impressive. I cannot believe. It, that's a lot of yarn and of course I didn't make it but it didn't matter because the group is really fun. Erin who is Gimme Yarn 418 is the was the hostess of that. She's got another challenge coming on called the Great Summer Slim Down. And it's actually going to be hosted on or is hosted on Ravelry. It gives you so many more features, posting features, and then of course you can put all your projects right there in your project list, and um, so many of us are, are visit Ravelry on a regular basis for patterns and whatnot. So Erin is kind of testing it out to see if we're gonna continue this for future challenges or not. So um, it's already started, and as a matter of fact, this was the first project that I did um, at the start date. And since then, I have a few more things to add to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, in this current challenge that Erin is hosting, the deal is, is you need to lose 20 pounds of yarn. And you do that by weighing each project, and it adds up. And then she gives you these bonus things that you can do that will, you can take off an additional one pound, two pounds, five pounds, different things like that, so that it would help you to meet the goal, because it is a pretty lofty goal. That's a lot of yarn. 
And one of the things she asked for was a 12 inch granny square that she could collect as a commemorative afghan for herself to remember this challenge because we've really it's really fun we, we have a good group together and so this is my first one that I was going to donate to Erin now y'all know me I tend to be a little out-of-the-box thinker and so I had seen this other pattern of a refrigerator magnet that looked like a sheep and Erin loves sheep and she collects them and so I was thinking about turning this big flower into a sheep. See, I made a little head right here and put some eyes on him and put him two little feet that stick out from under his great big bushy cell. And I thought that was going to be so cute. And I was thinking I was so clever. And my husband said, no, don't do that. And I said, well, what if I make it where she could take it off if she didn't like it? And he was like, no, that's stupid. So I guess I won't be sending you that, Erin. Okay, and speaking of granny squares, oh wait, I gotta go get them. Okay, I've also discovered this charity, it's, it's called Charity Crochet Exchange. And essentially what you do is you create granny squares and you send them to this lady and are these people, there's several people that will put them together as an afghan and then they give them to a charity. And it's really kind of fun because they give you parameters, like you need to use these colors, um, and you always have to do two so that it makes the balance correct when you're arranging all these squares from all these different people. So it's, it's really kind of fun. And you know, charity's right up my alley. It's something I love to do. So that being said, I did these two granny squares. Granny, you call me? No, Granny, I was not calling you. I'm talking about crochet. Okay. So anyway, um, this is how, this follows in the, um, the pattern. The instructions say that you need to use the same colors and you granny. need to, no, no, Granny, I'm not, would y'all like to meet my grandmother? Come in. Hello. Hi, honey. Come here. This is Hi. this is my grandmother. Hi. This is my grandmother. She's here visiting me. Um, she has her hair in rollers, so I'm sorry about that. Look this way. Susan, that pretty. Oh, cute little puppy. Actually, what this is is a hat uh, inspired by something that Yolanda Soto Lopez had done, and. Yolanda did a forehead and some bangs up high, but I have bangs myself, so I used my own bangs as uh, a guide, and I put that on there, and then we put all these rollers in the hair, and I think that'll make a funny Halloween costume. Granny. Yeah, Granny. Go, Granny. Go get those glasses and put them on. Hi. So, so you get you some good glasses, you wear them on the end of your nose, and you put some, some red lipstick on with your house coat and some house slippers, and that would make a funny Halloween costume. Mm. So I thought that was great. Super great. So thank you, Yolanda. And I'm talking like she knows who I am. She doesn't have a clue who I am, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so back to the granny squares. All right, so these, these are for Pine Ridge Reservation. It's an Indian reservation. Uh, which is, uh, this particular one has a lot of poverty, and they need these blankets for warmth. And the colors specified were greens, browns, reds, and oranges. And I don't have any green, so uh, this is what I did so far. And I'm gonna send a little bit more, and then I think they request, if you're able, this is not a requirement, but you could throw in a dollar or two for uh, help with the postage when they send it. So. Um, Anyway, that's my new my new thing. And then next on my list is to really put my Addy machines to work. And with that being said, this was um, this is not part of the challenge, Erin. If you're watching, because I did this earlier. But this is my Santa scarf prototype that I'm working on with the Addy Express. And. I see different changes that I want to make, so I'm probably going to end up taking this apart and reusing the yarn, But and I have different ideas, but here's the first one. So I'll probably end up doing a tutorial on that for, with the Addy machine for my Addy friends. And, um, but isn't that cute? I thought that turned out 
just precious. Or, you know, it will be by the time I finish making my changes. But, um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted with that. I think I covered everything that I had planned to talk about. So, um, uh, I guess that's all. Talk to you later. Bye.